Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video it feels like it has been ages since the last video I made for Barbie news but here we are once again and in this video we're going to take a look at all the latest Barbie stuff to come out this year from Playline Collector, Barbie movie dolls. I'm going to cover it all right here so stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay so first up we have some new Barbie Rewind dolls and I believe this is the uh, second or third wave of Barbie Rewind dolls. It's gonna have three new characters. Uh, one is a uh, slumber party, you know, pajama themed. The other one is like going to the movies themed. And then the last one, uh, the one we don't have uh, many pictures of, just the, you know, box picture is like prom themed. So these are three new additions for Barbie Rewind. Once again, it's basically all 80s uh, themed and that they all come with unique, uh, you, you know, little accessories and a little base stand uh, shaped after a um, tape, right? So it's really cute. I mean, the details here are really adorable and every, I mean, I feel like all the Barbie Rewind dolls are really cute in details, but they are kind of expensive, which by the way, release date and prices are not known for these dolls uh, as of yet, but I, I imagine it'll be around the summer time. Next up, we're getting these new types of places that you can take uh, on the go. This one is beauty and spa themed. So there's a little chair uh, for your Barbie doll, which is not included. The Barbie dolls are not included, but there's a lot of accessories for the child and doll to you know interact with and then there's also this smoothie themed one where you can actually put the fruits in a blender and i imagine you can also open a lid and then put all the accessories in the actual um case so you can take it to go so it's really it's a really neat idea and once again price and release date are unknown the good thing about them not including a doll here is that they probably won't cost nearly as much and they will be cheaper around 20 25 bucks and then the release date probably will be around spring or summer next up we have this new series called Called Barbie premium fashion bags. Uh, they retail at $10.99 each and they don't include a doll. Once again, this is what you see here, a bag a, which is oversized on an actual Barbie doll and then an outfit with accessories for the Barbie doll. And it's kind of funny how big it is, but it does kind of look cute. And uh, each bag has a theme. So there's a party theme with the heart shaped bag. And then there's a um, school bag and then a seashell bag for, you know, beach themes. So these are again, $10.99 on Amazon. Yeah. And we're getting new Barbie extra mini minis. This one is looking pink and blue. She has these two pigtails and uh, a blue little dress on. And this one is all about the rainbow. It, she has a huge bow and the front and uh, some blue highlights in her hair. They're looking really cute. <laughs> Next up, we have some new Barbie cutie reveal dolls. And these seem to be perfect for the Easter time uh, since these are very pastel colored. And also the animal theming is just very like, Eastery. So there's like a, there's a uh, sheep, there's a bear, there's a lion, and a poodle. Just how cute is this lineup of characters? <laughs> and it does. I mean, even the artwork is not the same. It's more like, uh, like stylized, and there's it's much more like soft. So very, very interesting. It looks almost hand drawn. Um, but that's obviously just the style. And they look each again so cute. There's no, uh, actual pictures of the dolls or prices or anything just yet but i imagine again springtime and i don't think they'll cost more than average barbie cutie reveal dolls and then lastly we do also have these new chelsea cutie reveal dolls keeping the theme going on with the you know animal pics but the characters just look a little bit different from the uh you know normal size barbie versions uh they still look really cute and they are posable this is the second wave of chelsea cutie reveal dolls the first one was released with the jungle theme um and and uh, yeah, they look really cute. There's a, there's a, again, the poodle, bear, lion, and uh, sheep. So really adorable. Next up, we have the next wave of Barbie looks dolls for this year designed by Bill Greening. The release date is supposed to be, you know, January. So January late, January 25th, apparently. And uh, these are all uh, made to move uh Barbie dolls, including two Ken dolls as well. Uh, so far, we've gotten a few uh, better looks at these dolls found in stores, uh, like the redhead here, and then we also have better look pictures of the male uh, Ken doll with the pink pants, and then the blonde Barbie with the curly hair, and uh, then we also got a better look at the petite uh, 
Teresa looking Barbie doll. And then lastly, we also got a better look at the Afro Barbie, you know, with the big bun at the top and the red gorgeous pants. I think um, these dolls are really stylized and the clothing is much more like, uh, I like the clothing here much more than in the previous series. It was all black and white, which is simplistic. And uh, some of the Barbie dolls were really nice. Like the, there was one, she was like really tall. And she had dark skin, dark hair, uh, but she had like really bright makeup. So I think she was really pretty. Uh, but overall, didn't really speak to me. Here, these dolls are really unique looking and they're really cute. And uh, the face-ups, the screenings are very stylized, very unique. And they don't really even look too Barbie-like. They, they look really modern, if that makes sense. And I think the um, color blocking is also a very interesting choice. And Bill Greening, of course, he's a legend with Barbie designs. So these dolls are, I think, doing well people are really impressed by these dolls so next, far next it seems we're getting finally a mariah carey barbie doll she's gonna be a uh holiday doll retailing at 75.99 so really expensive but i mean for a mariah carey doll uh what would you expect honestly <laughs> so i guess she's gonna come out at this christmas which is really exciting next up i think we've all heard of these dolls it's the barbie my first barbie dolls yes so these are taller bigger and softer easier to dress as well for younger children these are aimed towards the kindergarten kids you know age group and there's also going to be a animated series dropping on youtube in february i heard um so it's like preschool themed uh so it's really cute and these dolls as you can tell are really big uh they're taller and bigger than average Barbie dolls. And the material is also softer, apparently for the uh, torso body. And then for the legs and arms, it's like the old uh, rubber bend and snap uh, legs that we used to get with old Barbie dolls. So imagine that, but on this bigger body. Um, it's the same exact uh, joint like it's the same kind of like two bend and snap articulations you can go back two times for the knees and then for the arms this is a first ever i believe um bend and snap articulation for the elbows so that is really freaking cool the thumbs are attached now to the hands so it's easier to dress and the hands uh and the heads are a little bit bigger but it's just to fit in with the proportions of the rest of the body overall we have four main characters released in a core series we have renee uh Teresa, Barbie Brooklyn, and Barbie Malibu. So there's four main characters, and aside for those, we have two deluxe releases, one for Barbie Malibu and one for Barbie Brooklyn, which is like for going from a, uh, you know, slumber party to a prom dress, party dress. So it's like it has two outfits and more accessories. Um, so that's a really neat detail. And also they have longer hair, apparently. I don't know why. Now, aside for the doll releases, we're also getting furniture packs. This one is for a tea party, which you can also flop down the sides of the table to make it uh, easier for compact use and this one is a bed uh, furniture pack and you can actually slide out the second uh, bottom piece to make out a uh, little bunk bed situation like it's a like pull out sofa <laughs> it's really cute and then we have some more accessory packs that include pets and they, they are all obviously themed you know for school like party themed or beach themed and of course what would barbie be without extra fashion packs that are also themed we have a party theme a beach theme a, a slumber party pajama theme and a ballerina theme so these are also retailing uh separately for i believe 10 or so 99 and now we're gonna get into the listings found online for future releases for this year first up we have to talk about the new live action barbie movie dolls i'm so glad we're getting um dolls of the barbie movie so we have number one barbie movie outfit then we have West Western movie overall we have a glittering pants movie overall barbie in iconic movie outfit barbie friend in iconic movie outfit then we have ken dolls ken in iconic movie outfit ken in movie outfit barbie iconic movie outfits plural so maybe it's like a fashion pack or it's like a two-pack and then we have barbie pink movie convertible we're getting a freaking car 
Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> so I'm in love. They're gonna be so good. Now the question here is, are they gonna be? Are they gonna aim towards more of a realistic look with the face-ups to resemble the actors in the movie, or are they gonna go more in a generic kind of you know Barbie look um, and not change it up too much to be realistic? Uh, so it's more friendly for kids to play with as well. Because if they're too realistic, then I imagine kids won't be too into it if they look too realistic. But if they're like a normal looking Barbie, then I feel like it's, you know, fair game for everyone to buy them, like adults and kids. Uh, so I guess, yeah, these are going to be, I guess my question is, are, they, are these going to be playline, you know, level or are these going to be like more of a higher end, right? So what are we working with here? I think these are going to be normal releases. They're not going to be like anything too special. But again, uh, are they going to have special molded on features to resemble the actors or is it going to be, is it going to be a little bit resembling the actors, actors but not too much? And it's going to keep that um, Barbie look with the big eyes and like the overall features. Uh, let's see. I mean, we're getting dolls of the movie in general. I i'm okay with that i cannot wait to see them and uh it's gonna be so good they're gonna look so good next up <laughs> some playline releases we have some barbie totally hair listings for five dolls uh we remember we already have the first wave of barbie totally hair dolls that are out right now and there's only there's only four characters four dolls so here we have five then we have a chelsea treehouse we have a barbie surfer with accessories ken surfer with accessories barbie on the beach ken on the beach Barbie mobile kiosk with refreshments, a Barbie bedroom with doll, Barbie accessories pack, and a Barbie dream boat. Next up, we have some collector listings, the Barbie inspiring women anime Wong doll, the Barbie Claudia Schiffer doll, who we heard uh, of a long time ago, and she never came out, and now she's finally coming out. That's really exciting. The Dapper Dan Harlem X Barbie doll, and the Barbie X Mariah Carey holiday doll. And I do hope that price is just um, really interesting inflated for now because 75 99 for one doll even if it's mariah carey's doll is a little much <laughs> i don't know if that's really accurate but let's see next up we have some more barbie extra news we have a new line called barbie extra fly which actually seems to be uh you know like a uh, vacation and travel theme so one of them is just called a barbie extra fly one of them is desert theme one of them snow and then we're getting our first barbie extra ken doll you know granted it's in this new fly sub theme but still it's a barbie extra ken doll the first of many i hope <laughs> then we have a barbie extra fly jet so maybe like uh an airplane and then we have a barbie extra fly minis and we have three of those coming out then we have some other barbie stuff barbie advent calendar barbie fairy tale advent calendar barbie dream house a new dream house so how is it gonna look the last dream house we got was um a year ago so uh let's see how this one holds up um barbie make and sell make and sell chelsea adam which is short for um a touch of magic so it's gonna be um almost like dreamtopia but i'm hoping it's not gonna be as chaotic with all the colors so we have a chelsea uh adam barbie adam co co lead barbie adam co lead again but it's a different number barbie adam pegasus sayo Sayok, Sayok is that the name of the Pegasus, Barbie Wellness Cafe, Barbie Boardwalk Playstead, Barbie Skip Daycare. Uh, so that's uh, very interesting. We have more listings here. We have the uh, price and listings for the Rewind a Prom a doll that we didn't have more pictures of. So she's just called Rewind Prom Night. Uh, release date apparently is sometime in February, 50 bucks. We have the Bessie Coleman Collector doll, February as well 45 bucks we have six new barbie looks dolls which i'm assuming is the same dolls from wave three that we saw earlier retailing up for 38 also releasing february we have the anime wong doll in april for 45 dollars the St stevie nicks music series in july for 55 the dia de los muertos barbie number five in july wait so is it the uh, that's a little early for to celebrate that occasion uh isn't it usually like in the autumn but i guess like they're going to release it early i don't know um 
it's for for 95 okay maybe it's not like dia de los muertos inspired maybe it's just like a muertos uh, something theme <laughs> so it's 95 dollars in july then we have a muertos ken uh, number three in July as well, same price. The Mariah Carey holiday doll, which here she is even more expensive at 80 bucks in August. We have the Celia Cruz uh, in June. I guess she's oh yeah, she's like a uh, yeah, she's like a collector doll from a celebrity. Is this a, I don't know who that is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> For 45 dollars, we have the Wilma Mankiller in September, 45 as well. Maria Feliz in August, 48. And then we have some holiday dolls, the 2023 Holiday Blonde in August for $50. And uh, same uh, 2023 Holiday AA, um, maybe like a variation, also in August, same price point. Wow, so many things. <laughs> that was so much to go through. So I want to know what you think of all of these new Barbie things coming out this year. What are you most excited for? Let me know down below. That was the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses